Hello and welcome to the CS Current video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to explain how to set up one of the most popular payment systems in the world – PayPal. Let's begin! To accept payments via PayPal, you need a PayPal business account. So, we go to the PayPal website, click Sign up, and select to create a business account. After creating a business account, we get back to the admin panel of CS Card. First of all, we need to check if the PayPal add-on is installed and properly configured. On the settings page, tick the Override customer info checkbox. If you want to replace customer information in the order details with the data sent by PayPal via instant payment notifications. On the PayPal order status conversion map, we can choose which status in your store corresponds to each transaction status sent by PayPal via IPM. Just select a corresponding status from the drop-down list. And here is an example to explain how it works. The following record means that when PayPal sends an IPM that marks the transaction as completed, the corresponding order in your store will get the status processed. Then we can select a separate status for a partial refund. This is done to prevent treating full and partial refunds as the same thing. So, according to the map, full refund leads to the cancelled order status, while partial refund does not change the status. Add a PayPal logo. PayPal places your logo image at the top of the card review area. Save changes to finish. Now we go to Administration – Payment Methods to add a PayPal payment method. Click the plus button. Enter the appropriate name. In the Processor section, select the desired PayPal gateway, for example, Ordinary PayPal. The template setting becomes unavailable, but that's ok. Each processor has its own unique template. We will skip other settings as unimportant and switch to the Configure tab. Here we select the currency of our PayPal account. This currency must exist in your store and ideally it should be a primary currency. That's because prices are always converted to PayPal currency according to the rates you specified before being sent to PayPal. Optionally, make up the order prefix for PayPal orders. Using the prefix allows to prevent duplicate invoice IDs when you use the same PayPal account to accept payments from several websites. The initial order status. All orders with a PayPal method get this status before the response from PayPal comes, an IPN message arrives, or a customer returns to the store via a link on the PayPal site. To add the PayPal method successfully, you need to fill technical details. Account is the email address of your PayPal account. Name of the item is the value of the Pay for field, displayed on the PayPal web page during the payment, for example, My Store. And finally, the test or live mode setting. Select live if you are ready to accept payments via this method. You can use the test mode to see how the payment method works, but it doesn't work with live PayPal accounts. For testing, you'll need to use test accounts from PayPal Sandbox. Click Create to add a new payment method. By the way, you can also set up an automatic return for customers from your PayPal account. That's how we add PayPal to CS Card. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card videos.